So if you said no to the question, would you be willing to give up your reputation to benefit a cause? This leads us into the final point of a search for power. And this one is going to be a fun one to talk about. Um, so this is a really, really tricky and, and potentially dangerous place to be. And, and that doesn't necessarily mean it's always bad. Um, it just can lead individuals into somewhat harmful behavioral patterns as they associate with other individuals. I don't know. I don't know if you disagree with that. Uh, maybe we can have a talk about that, but you know, how would you describe this? You don't want to give up your reputation to benefit a cause. It's like, well, we, so, the, so the goal was to get the reputation and that's fine. You know I mean? It's good to have reputation. It's good to have fame, right? I mean, that's kind of where it goes here and, and maybe you can jump on that then. Definitely. So when we're looking at the the different cases in which this would be applicable, I know there, there are very likely instances where giving up or not giving up the, the reputation or the, the status could still lead to a, a beneficial outcome. And I think when we're looking at these, these outcomes, we're looking at more the general trends, at least within history and then moving forward and recognizing more so what could be dangerous within these outcomes. And I think one of the most um, prevalent ones that we have seen throughout an analysis of history is the lack of individuals or at least those who chose not to give up reputation and power and instead continue their personal gain within a group looking to affect change. There are many powerful historical figures that have uh, manipulated and taken control of these, these new situations and capabilities for malicious intent. Mm -hmm. And it's important to recognize these and reflect on them so that we can recognize these patterns if they ever come up again in the future. And when we look at the, the attainment of power, or at least on that path where you choose not to give up reputation, the reason we kind of see this is as a search for power is because while going through the, the process of developing reputation, joining or affecting change within a community, looking to do something different, and then saying that the, or the logic behind saying that you stepping down can lead to a perpetual benefit of this cause and this individual saying no, shows or indicates that it's not actually the benefit of the the cause or the the goal but more so for a personal more selfish benefit and this is a search for power as they are looking to maintain and develop further control and influence over what they what they've already attained yeah and, and one key note here i, I don't want to be too pessimistic about this category um but but you can validate it in some sense that you know you might not be willing to give up your reputation because you don't trust the authority that will come after you to make the right decisions because maybe there's not necessarily this competence pool of individuals that you know are going to fill your gap and, and and so i can see that perspective but at another level it's it's like well you know there needs to be this this kind of trend of of habitual change in order to really grow whatever whatever ideological constraints you have um and, and so i guess i can kind of see you know where you might be able to think you know maybe maybe it's actually not a good thing to to give up reputation and every single one of these cases is case by case and and so you know that's why i say it's not necessarily uh the worst thing in the world to just be searching for power in in, in this context you know if you if you really and truly believe in the confidence of your competence well, you know, I, I understand. And, 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 you know, I think that's a good conclusion point for you. The confidence of your competence. Right. Isn't that interesting? That's a fun one. Yeah, yeah, yeah.